Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of my fall fashion series. Today's video is an extra special one because it is a collab with Claire from Claire Sophia here on YouTube. She also did a fashion upcycle and has super cute and fun content on her channel, so be sure to head over there after this video to check her video out. In today's video, I'm showing you two ways to upcycle bandanas and turn them into trendy necklaces. Both are super easy and quick and all the materials and details will be listed below. For our first upcycle DIY, we'll be making a double-sided ring choker out of a bandana. First, open up your bandana up and measure the desired length of your choker. Then cut out a 2-3 inch rectangle along the bandana print. To create a clean finished edge, fold over the edges of the bandana piece you just cut out. You could choose to sew it together like me, but fabric glue will work as well. You just need to wait for it to dry completely before moving on to the next step. So for step 3, fold your choker in half and cut right on the fold to create two equal pieces. Attach the ring by looping one end of the choker through it and wrapping it around so it lays on the back side like so. It's kind of hard to explain but you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Once it's wrapped around completely, secure the ring by gluing or sewing that piece down. And just go ahead and do that to both sides. And I wanted to show the most inexpensive way to do this DIY. So since metal rings can get pretty pricey, a great alternative can be keychain rings like this one I'm using here. It might sound a little ghetto, but it works. And it makes it that much easier to add charms if you'd like. Lastly, before adding on our closures, I like to staple the ends of the chokers I make because I think it makes the choker sturdier and less likely to break when pulling it when you're putting it on. And I also saw that H&M did this, so I was like, oh, that's like the perfect idea because it does really work. So then just use some pliers to add the claps on and then you are done with this DIY. And just a helpful tip, try to keep your broken necklaces because they do come in handy for DIYs like this, which is where I got my class from, making this DIY super easy and inexpensive. So moving on to our second bandana upcycle, I'm showing you how to DIY your own boho fringe bandana necklace in just three easy steps. First, fold your bandana to make a triangle, then lay your fringe piece where you want it to go on your bandana and kind of map out the placement. You can use any fringe that you want. Mine looks a little different than most fringe trims because it came from an old kimono I don't wear anymore, but if you decide to purchase an actual fringe trim, then you can use glue instead of hand sewing it. So moving on to the last step, I just hand sewed my fringe onto my bandana, staying as close to the edge as possible and knotting it once I got to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode in my fall fashion series. All the links of each episode are in the description box below, as well as Claire's video and channel link, so don't forget to check her out and tell her that I sent you. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow for another DIY. Bye guys!